If you're a short hitter of the golf ball and want to start hitting some longer drives and gain more distance off the tee, I need you to check that you're doing these simple golf tips. I mean, look at me. Five foot eight, nine, 70 kilograms, legs like twiglets, hitting it 300 yards. What's your excuses? Tip number one, and I see this regularly on a daily basis even in the lesson studio, and it's a lack of turn and mobility. Down the lens, if you've got a desk job, hit that like button, because this is so common for people with desk jobs. You sit at a desk all week, Monday to Friday, and then go and try and play your best golf at the weekend. But your body's just not ready for it. So when you get up to the golf course, get there a bit earlier and start warming up. That's not the tip, but I would do that definitely. You need to start turning your upper body. Now, I personally have a great amount of upper body turn, but I'm not so good with my lower half. And if you haven't seen my live video with Shaheen recently in LA where I videoed a live golf lesson, I'll put it in the links and in the description down below, go and check that out. Because even though I've got a great amount of shoulder turn, I still wasn't using my lower half properly. And I fall into the desk category as well because I'm at home editing a lot of the week as well. So I'm slouched over, not activating my muscles and things like that. So I want you to check that you're getting the right amounts of turn. Now, turning. I see loads of people locking their right leg out and limiting the amount of turn they get. I want you to start letting that straighten. Get that right hip back, which allows you then to turn your upper body loads more too. If you video yourself with a camera or in a window reflection, dead in front of you. I want you to see how much of your back you can start to see. Now, if you restrict that lower half, I probably won't be able to see much of my back in the mirror or in the camera, however you're viewing yourself. If I let this right hip go back, I can start to get a serious amount of turn with my lower body and my upper body. If I do it in this camera, let that hip ride back. Look how much I can start to turn. This is extra power that you're just giving up. Get to the golf course before, start warming up. Start adding this into your practice. Get that right hip turning back, going deep. Get that upper body turning loads more. Go out of your comfort zone and see how much yardage you can pick up. Set myself up. Big hip turn, big shoulder turns. Whoa. Over 300 yards, what? Tip number two, and this is an extension on from turning more. So. If you get to a limit where you think, oh, I can't go any more than that, but I feel like I wanna do even more turn, allow yourself to lift that lead foot up. Nothing major, don't have to get it up onto its tiptoe, but this is also a little trigger for your downswing too. You'll see the long drivers out there doing this like crazy amounts. They even get their foot coming off the ground. But if you want a little bit of extra turn again, including that first tip, Add this to it and you'll start to turn even more. So as you start to turn, let this heel, lead heel, whether you're left or right-handed, your lead heel start to come up off the ground. So I turn my right hip nice and deep. I get my big shoulder turns. But if I start to lift my lead foot, look, I can start to go even more. And before we head into the last tip, tip three, lifting that lead heel, also helps on the downswing. On the downswing, you can crunch that into the ground, start pushing in the ground early. So once you get to the top, crush that heel back into the ground. That's gonna get your vertical forces shooting up earlier in your swing. Because generally speaking, most of my lessons that come in, probably 90% of them, all their vertical forces are too late in their swing. Tip one, turn loads. Tip two, Get that heel coming off the ground a little bit and stomp it before you start that downswing. Get that vertical force shooting up, increasing that club head speed. Once you get that club head speed, that ball speed will start to come. Two over 300, what? Five foot eight, five foot nine, 70 kilograms. You gotta be kidding me, haven't you? Tip number three. Tip number three can be very tricky for lots of golfers because it's how much you slow your hand speed down in a downswing. So if your hand speed doesn't slow down enough, 
that's not going to allow you to release that golf club out to the golf ball with its maximum speed. And I say this is hard because I find this hard. I am a serial handle dragger and I don't let this club go enough. So what do I do? There's plenty of ways that you can do it. And you've probably seen like Rory do this, Rory McElroy, obviously, and it's a split hand drill. So you set yourself up, your lead hand goes in its normal position on the grip. Your trail hand goes on the shaft. And what you wanna do, swing to the top. And as you swing down, you wanna feel like you're firing and getting that head to bounce and that shaft to bend as much as possible. That's really gonna make you feel like your hands are accelerating and slowing down fast, putting on the brakes to kick that club head out to the ball and increase that club head speed. A fun little training aid that I've got as well for lots of my lessons is the lag shot. Super whippy. How much can you make this thing bend? And it won't snap, I promise. <laughs> Look at it go. Oof. But I'm really slowing my hand speed down and getting that club head out in front of me and increasing that club head speed. So if you feel like there's a few more yards left in you and I am starting to sweat, <laughs> <laughs> get this hand speed to feel like it's slowing down on that downswing. And honestly, you'll get that club catching up loads more, getting that peak speed at impact rather than dragging it and having that top speed after that golf ball. Whoa. 70 kilograms, legs like twiglets, 300 yard drives. Again, there's no excuses, golfers. Come on, add those three tips into your golf game. Let me know what you're doing to try and hit longer golf drives and if it's helping. Tip one, tip two, add them together. Tip three, can be hard, but add it to your game and you'll start to see those gains come into your golf drives. Enjoy. God, I need a rest. Hitting some longer drive. Golf drives. See you in the next one.